So looking around in the menus, since we haven't played Madden in a few years, you know we had to go into the career mode and I'm looking and I'm like, well, maybe I'll do a creative player, my player type career mode. So that's what we're going to do. And then, you know, everybody and their grandmother is a quarterback and a running back. And so we're not going to do that. We're going to play defense and we're going to be a middle linebacker. How you doing guys? I'm TN Eagle and this is going to be episode one of our career mode in Madden 15. We'll just call it my player and the player that we're going to do is going to be a 3-4 tackler middle linebacker. And I'm thinking, okay, we can do, you know, the early draft pick, a late round pick or undrafted. So this one's going to have a better story, right? If we're undrafted, I mean, we're an undrafted free agent and we're trying to make it in the NFL. And then which team do we want? Well, I have to go with my team, Philadelphia Eagles, for a couple of reasons. Number one, because they're my team. Love the Eagles. And then number two, like, you know, Michael Kendricks and D'Amico Ryans. D'Amico Ryans is, is getting older. So he may not have too long left as far as his career is concerned. Michael Hendricks is very young. He's going to be very good, by the way, in real life. Uh, but his rating isn't quite as high right now. So if I go in there as a third string middle linebacker, technically in a 3-4, I really only get, need to get to second string and I'll pretty much be starting. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with Philadelphia Eagles and then we're going to be a middle linebacker and we're gonna see what we can do with our career. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, might be a little challenging at first. Uh, I'm thinking just with the camera angle and everything uh, that you that you use in the My Player, I think it'll make it kind of interesting. And hopefully you guys think so too. If you do enjoy the video, please remember to drop a like. Please comment. Please subscribe. We're gonna pick a number. Why would they? I mean, they shouldn't even put 92 and 99 as options. Talking about Jerome Brown, who was a fantastic player, unfortunately passed away early, and then Reggie White, one of the greatest of all time. Those numbers shouldn't even be available. But we're going to take 51. We'll take that. Now, originally, I live in Tennessee now. Originally, I am from Delaware, uh, which is right outside of Philadelphia. So we're going to look around and see maybe which, uh, which colleges we can do, and we'll pick Delaware. In Delaware, if you didn't know, uh, Joe Flacco actually went to Delaware. Uh, a couple other guys that have come out of Delaware and done fairly well. But anyway, we're just going to pick that. Now, we're going to go pretty true to life. Uh, we're going to go 6'3". I am 6'3". I am not 240. Uh, I'm about 215, but we'll go 240 just because we need to be a little bit bigger for a middle linebacker in the NFL. Now, we'll, we'll kind of move through some of this stuff. Um kind of quickly and what I'm hoping to do depending on how it goes I guess with the career and uh, how the progression goes and I'm not even sure yet we'll just have to kind of see what the uh, what the menus are like what options we have but there are a couple things that I'm uh, kind of curious to see uh, and things that I had heard about one is the I believe, coach glass that's supposed to be able you're supposed to be able to use that in connected career as far as seeing tendencies uh, of even the a computer player so that might be something fun if I can find a way to somehow incorporate that graphic into the game in later episodes that may be something that we do uh, and try to just try to add some things into the game to make it fun and uh, maybe interactive uh, for you guys as well but uh, moving into our guy we're gonna we're gonna go with the full cage Ooh, dark mass that looks pretty pretty cool I don't know I don't know if I should do that though, because then you wouldn't be able to see my guy. We'll we'll go we'll go with a clear visor. Oh, that, that's kind of cool. The the smudgy smudgy eye eye paint. There's some smudgy eye paint, nose and eye tape. I don't know if I want to do that. I think we'll we'll go with the uh, smudgy eye paint. Look at that, the old school uh, neck roll. That's pretty cool, but we're uh, we're gonna pass on that. All right, let's see what we can do here. Back plate, we'll put a normal back plate on there for this big 350 pound line that are gonna be falling on my back. We'll put some of that on there. Left elbow, head, 
don't know if we need that stuff. Maybe, well, let's go with a sweatband. We're going to sweatband. Sweatband medium white. Well, let's put the same thing on the other side so we can kind of match. Where is it? I can't find it. Team color. Medium. No, it's medium team color. Where the heck is it? There's full white. Medium white. There we go. Okay. Uh, wristband. We'll go wristband white. Wristband white. I kind of like the gloves that are on there right now. We'll kind of, uh, let me keep those, I think. We'll keep the, the green gloves on there. Oh, we gotta have a towel. I mean, that's mandatory, right? The linebacker, you gotta have a towel. Uh, let's see. Put some that on there. Let's tuck the socks. That's pretty good. I like that. Can't really do anything with the attributes. We will accept that. Instant starter, we're gonna leave off. We're gonna we're gonna have to work our way up. I mean, we're an undrafted free agent. You don't see too many 21 year old undrafted free agents uh, just go in and immediately start an NFL team. So we are going to need to start from the bottom and work our way up in the depth chart, and then hopefully, hopefully before the end of season one, I would imagine. We can get up there and, and probably get pretty substantial playing time. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see maybe what we do in the preseason, how we perform. I would imagine we'll start on uh, on special teams, and that's fine. I mean, that's that's how you win championships, right? Defense and special teams. So uh, I, don't, I don't have a problem with that. We'll go in there and we'll look at uh, all these tutorials. I just want to skip all that. Okay, develop yourself. That's 14 hours. So you get... You get a certain amount of hours each week that you can spend on your development um, and, and certain ones are worth a certain amount of hours so like this one worth 14 hours so we spend that and we get 580 xp not bad we can do that and then uh this one is competence and we will go ahead and do that one as well so and apparently just from what i'm reading up on in career mode uh, confidence plays a large part in your player, so that seemed to be pretty important, so we'll go ahead and do that. We want to do things that are important. And then normally what I've always done in the past with uh, like my player type things is you always increase their awareness as early as possible. Maybe even consistency. I'll go back up and look at that, but definitely awareness, which would take away all our points anyway. We'll go with that. That should be it for that guy. Guys, we're ready. We're going to see how we do in the next episode in our first game. I will talk to you then. Have a good one. But uh, that's my own opinion, which I respect. But uh, he does move from 87 to 89. He does get a pace increase as well as a shooting increase. So, uh, But we'll move into number four. And Andres Iniesta, he goes from 89 to 90. No other information was really given on him, but he's solid year in, year out. At number three, we have the Shark. Luis Suarez.